All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of x is equal to 16. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my equation here. So my equation is eight to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, before we start doing anything, let's just inspect this problem real quick. So if I plug in x equals one into this equation, I get eight to the power of one is equal to 16, which eight to the power of one is the same thing as eight, so I get eight equals 16, which is false, right? Now if I plug in x equals two, I get eight to the power of two is equal to 16, and eight to the power of two is 64. So I get 64 equals 16. And notice how there is a big gap between eight and 64. So we know that the value of x is not gonna be a whole number, but a decimal, and it's gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So x is greater than one, but less than two. We know this. Now, how are we gonna actually solve this problem and find the exact value of x? Well, what I can do is rewrite 16 as eight times two. Now what I'm gonna do is divide both sides by eight. So then these two cancel out and I get eight to the power of x over eight is equal to two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over a to the power of one is equal to a to the power of x minus one, which is equal to two. Now, a is the same thing as two to the power of three, so I get two to the power of three to the power of x minus one is equal to two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of three to the power of x minus one is the same thing as two to the power of three times x minus one. And three times x minus one, I can distribute three, so I get two to the power of three x minus three is equal to two. And two is the same thing as two to the power of one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So this means that three x minus three is equal to one. And now if I add three on both sides, I get three x is equal to four and x is equal to four over three. Now, there actually is another way to solve this problem. What I can also do is at the start, rewrite both of these in bases of two. So eight is the same thing as two to the power of three, so I get two to the power of three to the power of x, and 16 is the same thing as two to the power of four. Now this is the same thing as two to the power of three x is equal to two to the power of four, meaning that three x is equal to four, and x is equal to four, to four over three. So this is a much simpler method of solving this problem.